I'm going to show you guys a trick that's a big crowd pleaser at the accounting conferences when I teach this. And in essence, I'm going to teach you how to quickly enter vendor names, payee names into bank feeds or QuickBooks online banking without having to create a vendor by vendor. So at this point, I've already connected my bank into QuickBooks. I actually connected a credit card and notice here that I have a couple of credit cards here. This one has 18 transactions, this one 130, this one eight, and this one 119. So it's about 200 and change, and I have to go into each of these transactions and create each of the expenditures. So I'm gonna show you uh, first how people do this normally when they don't know this trick that I'm about to show you, which is they'll click on the expense transaction here. So I went to 7-Eleven. QuickBooks automatically sends it to Meals and Entertainment, which is probably wrong. And we'll, we'll discuss details about how to categorize everything in an entirely different video. I'll put it in the description below somewhere. But let's say, for example, I wanted to categorize this as auto and truck, but I want to create the vendor. So I would literally come in here and type 7-Eleven. Now, some people don't even type the vendor names. I'm completely against that. Uh, there's very there's multiple reasons why you want to have the vendor names and I'll show you at the end of this video. But uh, let's say, for example, I'm going to create the vendor name and click on save. And that took a little bit of time for me to actually create the vendor. And let's say this goes into auto expenses and create that as an expense. There you go. So that's done. That's categorized. I click on add and that transaction is added. Let me turn off. Uh, class tracking here because that's going to bother me uh, every time it's going to prompt me to uh, select the class so let me just turn off class uh, classes here real quick turn off classes and locations that way we'll do this a little bit faster so anyway on the second transaction here now it automatically sends it to the payee 7-eleven automatically sends it to auto expenses that's a great thing one of the reasons why i love quickbooks online so much select these two batch actions, accept, boom. Okay, so that's nothing new. You probably already knew that already. But again, the point is that you have to come in here and create each of these vendors if it's the very first time that you're using them. Uh, so I'll come here, AC Moore. Let's put this on there. Let's put this into office, office expenses and then click on add. And again, what takes a long time, it's creating the vendor each time. Now, I know some people skip the vendor name and again, don't do that. Always add a payee. So before we do the trick that's uh, long ado, really big intro to get to this point, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to go to the gear menu here. And there's a couple of options here. There's show bank detail. This is going to show me the original text that came in from the bank. And I could use this mode, but I, I'm going to choose not to in this particular case. Or I can uncheck show bank detail so I can get the QuickBooks summarized version of the description, which most of the times it's right. And then at this point, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scroll all the way down and I'm gonna put my cursor right after the dollar value of the very last transaction. And I'm gonna click and hold, I'm not letting go of the mouse, click and hold, I'm gonna drag this all the way to the top up to the point that I'm selecting the very first transaction and I'm selecting the date like this. So once I Un uncheck, unclick that, everything, all my text is now selected. So now I'm gonna right click on it, click on copy. And I'm gonna open Excel, trusty Excel. So I have Excel open and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna right click and just click on paste. So that what that's gonna do is gonna paste all this information from my bank feeds into Excel. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the first column and it looks like this vendor name got shifted so I'm gonna cut this one and paste it into column B. So cut this and paste. Then I'm gonna delete all the dates, I don't need that. And then I'm gonna delete everything else afterwards. So now I just have the vendor names. So I just have the vendor names that came uh, from QuickBooks. Now before I do anything else, I'm gonna copy and paste the vendor names from the other credit cards as well. So I'm gonna go to the next credit card here. So there's a couple of them here. So I'm gonna select the very last line click and drag all the way to the top, copy that, go back into Excel, copy, paste, same thing, 
cut this one, paste it in here, delete these, I don't need this, delete, and delete all this crap here, I don't need it, delete, okay, good. Okay, so I'm getting all the vendor names in there. Let's go to the next one. I already did this one, let's see this one. Okay, there's a good one here. Go to the last one, click and drag all the way to the top. Copy, go back to Excel, come down here somewhere, paste, perfect. Cut that, paste it here, delete all of these. I think at this point you kind of see where I'm going with this, but it's gonna get really, really cool very soon. Okay, so I got these, perfect. So I got my vendor names all punched in there. Let's see what else I got. And the very last one. Yeah, that's, we don't have that one. So let's bring that one in. Select this one, go all the way to the top. Copy it. Go to Trusty Excel. Paste. Cut and paste this one. Delete these. Perfect, and delete these. Great. Okay, so now at this point, I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna select the entire column, which basically contains all the pay names based on how QuickBooks calls it. And then I'm gonna go into data, and then sort. So you're gonna sort these by name. And then after I sort them, I'm gonna go to remove duplicates. Remove duplicates and done. So now I got basically a spreadsheet of all the unique vendor names for each of the vendors that were downloaded with a credit card before I created them in QuickBooks and before I gave them a category. And then like at this point, I can clean them, clean them up a little bit. That's really up to you. So I can come in here and see any of the ones I need cleaning. So for example, all these here that start with a TST, I'm just going to remove TST because that's a pure system that does that. So I'm gonna uh, go to find what TST space, nope, TST space, and then we're gonna replace that with nothing and then click on replace all. So that gets rid of uh, TST. Let's see what else I would what, like to clean up. Okay, let's say that's good. I don't need to clean anything up. Let's say that vendor list is perfect for me. So now I'm gonna save the vendor list. I'm gonna save it somewhere in my computer. Let's call it uh, vendor list save it somewhere in the computer. Then I'm gonna go back into QuickBooks. And again, before I start creating all the vendors here, I'm gonna go into the gear menu on the top right and then go to import data and then go into vendors, click on vendors. And I'm gonna click on browse, select that spreadsheet that I saved somewhere in the computer and then click on next. Under name, that would be the first column here I could pick and then go to next. And then it tells you everything that's about to be imported. Look at that, it's a beautiful thing. Then I click on import and all my vendor names have been fully imported. So now I'm gonna go back into banking and go into any of these transactions here. I notice that for the most part, QuickBooks is automatically recognizing all the vendors for all these transactions. Look at this. So now I can go to any of these and I don't have to sit there and create the vendor name. The vendor name, it's already uh, created for me. So that's actually really wonderful stuff. Now, I'm gonna sort this by payee, and then I'm gonna go ahead and select all the ones that were automatically recognized. And I wanna assume for a minute that all the categories are correct, the way QuickBooks is telling me it's correct, because I wanna show you one more thing uh, at the end. But for now, again, don't judge me on the categories. I'm just gonna go ahead and accept all of them. And then let me finish these up here. Add and then and add. Perfect. Let's do the next uh, uh, credit card. Look, most of these were recognized. Let's accept these. Okay. Not all of them are going to be recognized. So let's look at this one. Yeah. And let's make this one office expenses. And I'll just I'll just finish categorizing these as transfers. So these two will stay as transfers. And then let's go to the next one. Mostly, most of these are recognized. And again, I'm ignoring the correct categorization. I'm just gonna accept it as is. I accept all these.
And I notice all the ones that I edited naturally, it's not going to recognize them automatically, but all I have to do is select it from the list. And notice I don't have to be creating the vendor. So that really speeds me up, not having to create the vendor, just typing uh, that in there to select the category. And, and again, I'm not, um, this one wasn't imported just because the way I set it up, but that's, we can ignore that one. And then we'll do this one. And the next one. Perfect. See, I didn't have to create uh, many vendors and accept. Perfect. So now I think everything is categorized except for these. Let's finish these up. Okay, these are all, these all have payees. Beautiful thing. Go to accept. And I think that's it. Uh, let's see, I don't have anything else in any of the credit cards. Beautiful. So I've entered all my transactions. Let's go to the profit and loss real quick. And this was a kind of a blank file. Didn't have that much data. So uh, that's gonna have mostly expenses. And so take a look at it. These are all the expenses and all the categories that I went to uh, just choosing whatever QuickBooks gave me. But what is the key thing here, which is the reason why I love having uh, vendor names. The reason why I like to have vendor names is because I could always run a report expenses by vendor summary. By far one of my favorite reports out there. Expenses by vendor summary would basically give me all my vendor names and the total amounts next to it. So it's a different way of looking at your financial statements and it's really a whole different way to analyze this. And the other reason why I like this Go back to the profit and loss real quick. Let's say, for example, I'm, I'm trying to analyze the profit and loss. I'm trying to see if this is correct. All I have to do is click on any of these categories. And then I can then click up here, it says group by, and then click on vendor. It's basically, the reason why I created all, them all by vendor. And now I see all the expenses grouped by vendor. At this point, I can decide, are they in the right category? Are they where they're supposed to be, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So again, that trick, allows you to uh, quickly paste the vendor names in and not have to create them and also be able to then in the future give you a report that groups your expenses by vendor. So I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, put comments in the, uh, put comments below. Let me know that you did like it, that this was an amazing uh, trick. Hopefully this will save you hours and hours of work and I'll see you on the next one.